Okay, that's right, the Crusader's finally back after taking a hiatus. And I've got an important video today because I'm gonna be talking about the housing market or the housing crash, so to speak. <laughs> we got a lot of YouTubers out there that are saying that the housing market crash has begun. Mortgage applications are down. It's over. The sky is falling. I mean, all I'm gonna say is that if there's a crash that's going on right now, all the sellers of homes are oblivious to it. <laughs> I'm just saying, because they're not coming down off their prices. If someone lists a home for 10% over market value and then reduces it back down to market value, is that really a price cut? And as far as the mortgage applications are concerned, yeah, there are less houses to buy. If there's less inventory, less houses to buy, then people aren't going to be trying to get mortgages. And one of the biggest things that people are failing to realize is that a lot of the homes that were purchased were purchased for people to live in because people wanted more room. They wanted to work from home. Baby boomers were saying, oh, screw it. Uh, let's retire early. We're not spending the last you know, few years we've got stuck up in some state where there's heavy lockdowns. We're gonna go move to an area where they're open and we're gonna live out our golden years kind of thing. There was a lot of that going on. I was in it. I know all about it. First hand experience. I purchased real estate a year ago and it was a feeding frenzy. People would go in and it was a very competitive market as far as you couldn't just go in with nothing down, no cash, and expect to get the house. You were gonna have to put a substantial down payment down, if not all cash, in order to be picked as far as someone that they were gonna to sell to because the, the, the offers were just so competitive. And people who put down huge down payments and people who paid for homes with, with all cash they don't walk from homes, all right? This isn't like 08. Everybody likes to think that this is just gonna be the repeat of 08. Well, the price went up real fast, so it's gotta come down. Eh, it's a different scenario, guys. I mean, back in 08, I was there for that too. I saw kids that were college age that were owned homes and um, they didn't even have jobs. The lending standards were really lax back then. That's what caused all that. Now, I mean, for the past, ever since then, the lending standards, I mean, you gotta show documents, you need IRS forms. I mean, it's hard to get approved for, they put you on the cross to get approved for a mortgage. So those people that are getting those mortgages, they're not like people who aren't qualified buyers. And everybody tries to act like, oh, well, they know some shit. Here's the deal. This is what's really going down. There are two camps. There are the people who wanna buy homes, they wanna make money, they wanna have Airbnbs, they can't afford them and they're upset, and then you got the people who own the homes who are like, I'm gonna hold on to what I've got right now, oh my God, I'm rich, my house is worth all this money, and great, I'm great, I'm smart. So these people over here want the prices of the houses to go down, these people right here want the prices to go up. Me personally, yes, I own real estate. Do I want the prices of houses to go down? Yeah, I do, so I could buy more, I'm not stupid. Just, but just because I want something to happen doesn't mean like I'm gonna make some self-fulfilling prophecy and it's gonna come true. <laughs> I'm just saying like, I don't personally see it. Now, prices, will they level off? Yeah, the housing market is cooling down, meaning it's gonna be, all right, there's gonna be a price and it's not gonna be a bunch of bidding wars going. See, before it was like, we saw the price of the house, that was the starting point, the start of the bidding war and where it ended was actually what the house sold for. Now I think it's gonna be more along the lines of, there's the price, not so many bidding wars, not so many all cash buyers, not so many people putting down huge down payments, things like that. The regular people, the people who couldn't necessarily buy a home before because every time they tried to, they got outbid, those people are now gonna have an opportunity. But as far as the price is coming down to like before 2019 prices, oh man, I'm not seeing that happening. I just hate to tell you. So if I was in the position where I was trying to get a home, what I would do, and this is how I did it back when I first got my first home, I would buy a home that you could get in somewhere, maybe needs a little TLC, maybe doesn't have the countertops and all that stuff that you want. Get your hands dirty, get in there and fix it up while you're living in it. Then you can actually make it something if you can't afford to get the house that you've always dreamed of right now. Because real estate is one of the best investments, I mean, hands down. And that's another thing I wanna talk about that no one else is talking about, and that's as far as all the other markets like stocks, crypto, everybody's getting killed. People aren't gonna to race to sell their real estate to then go where, <laughs> into the stock market or crypto? They're not gonna do that. It's just, it's not realistic. 
And a lot of people like to act like, oh, well, it went up real fast, so I want to be real smart. I'm calling it right now. It's like, you're not smart. No, you're not. I mean, it's just, it, it, it's reality. People who are actually in this know what time it is. That's all I'm going to say. So as always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Crusader out.